going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me. Today we're going to talk about the PlayStation 4 and games that have actually been optimized for this new incredible console. Now, incredible console, I will say yes. Do I have one? No, but I do have a few friends who actually bought them on release. Uh, Inner Black Ninja is a great friend to the Beastly Gamer and the Beastly Thought Show, as well as the man, the myth, Briar Rabbit, also has a PlayStation 4 Pro. I've seen lots of reviews on this thing. I'm kind of on the fence as to whether or not I actually need it. Some games perform actually a little bit less in the frame rate department than the original vanilla PlayStation 4, and that's a little depressing to me, especially when you take into account that the PS4 Pro packs twice the power of the PS4. But I know a lot of you guys out there are enjoying your PS4 Pros on your beautiful 4K TVs with HDR, and I wanted to let you know which games you can expect to see optimized for this new console, and I will drop a link in the description. Here are the first games optimized for PlayStation 4 Pro. Now that the PS4 Pro has arrived, Sony wants gamers to know exactly what they can expect from optimized games. The company is starting with a list of over 30 games that have been optimized to take full advantage of the Pro's 8-core, x86-64 Jaguar AMD CPU and 2.4 Teraflop AMD Radeon GPU. Some are new games, which were released with Pro assets already included, but developers of some more established titles have also worked hard to add new aesthetics and experiences. Newer titles include Battlefield 1, Bound, Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered, FIFA 17, Hitman, Mafia 3, Rise of the Tomb Raider, Robinson, The Journey, Titanfall 2, and Uncharted 4 at Thief's End. Sony also lists Call of Duty Black Ops 3, Deus Ex Mankind Divided, Drive Club VR, Firewatch, Helldivers, Hustle Kings, Infamous First Light, Infamous Second Son, Knack, Middler Shadow of Mordor, NBA 2K17, Paragon, PSVR Worlds, Ratchet and Clank, Res Infinite, and Riggs Mechanized Combat League. The list is rounded off by Smite, Super Stardust Ultra, The Elder Scrolls Online Tamriel Unlimited, Skyrim Special Edition, The Last of Us Remastered, The Last of Us Left Behind, Playroom VR, Tumble, Until Dawn Rush of Blood, Viking Squad, World of Tanks, and XCOM 2. Sony says that another 45 games, including Watch Dogs 2, The Last Guardian, and Final Fantasy XV will get the same treatment by the end of the year. Resident Evil 7 Biohazard, For Honor, and Sony's own titles Gran Turismo Sport and Horizon Zero Dawn will, as you'd expect, all be PlayStation 4 Pro ready when they eventually come to the market in 2017. So it's really exciting. Uh, I've seen some of these games truly optimized. I gotta say Skyrim Special Edition is beautiful. It plays very well at native 4K. That's the thing that a lot of people were really speculating on. Would this four teraflops be able to run a game in truly native 4K? Obviously it can. The Last of Us also has native 4K, but it does have some frame rate hiccups. I'm really impressed at what this thing can do. I just think that over the next few months as patches come out and we see this thing really become streamlined and work smooth, uh, that people are going to be more and more excited about it. I also am really happy to see that 4K TVs are very affordable and even ones with HDR. You guys let me know what you think in the comments below. Which of these PS4 Pro games are you most excited to play? Have you been enjoying your PlayStation 4 Pro? Are you on the fence about it? Or are you just sticking with the vanilla PlayStation 4? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Be sure to give a thumbs up, show support for the channel, join the Facebook group, follow me on Twitter, and you can lend your help to the channel by visiting BeastlyGamer.com. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time. Hey,